Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the two front air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover slash air filter housing. Then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover slash air filter housing straight up to remove it. The cover is held in place by four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts, with the front two shown by red arrows. The rear of the cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. Remove the mass air flow sensor. See our tech article on mass flow air sensors by following the link at the end of this video. With the cover removed, inspect the rubber seal, indicated by the red arrow. If worn or damaged, replace it. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor electrical connector by squeezing the release tabs, red arrow, and pulling the connector straight out of the sensor. The top release tab is shown. There is another tab on the bottom of the connector. Unclip the plastic MAF mount as indicated by the red arrow may need to lever the locking tab open while you're unclipping. Remove the plastic MAF mount from the engine. Open the mount and feed it off of the MAF sensor. Working at the back of the MAF sensor, lever the retaining clip, indicated by the red arrow, away from the sensor while pulling the sensor up in the direction of the green arrow. Remove the MAF sensor from the intake air duct. Inspect the seal to be sure it is not worn or damaged. If replacing or reinstalling, be sure to line up the tab on the seal, green arrow, with the hole in the duct, as indicated by the red arrow. Install the new mass airflow sensor into the duct. If the seal gives you a hard time going in, apply a small amount of dish soap to the seal. That'll help it slide right in. The soap will not damage the seal. Check the vehicle for fault codes. See our tech article on reading and clearing fault codes by following the link at the end of this video. Then test drive the vehicle and confirm that the engine runs well. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.